So today's video is about casting. And before I continue, I wanted to show you something really quick, how I edit pictures and make little movies about them. I take pictures, I cut the backgrounds out, I, I continue editing them, I cut myself out sometimes, and then I join the pictures together. I take another picture, edit that, and then I put them together. Uh, and over here, you'll see me doing that with the default manual run background from, from the Nordic track. I just keep adding pictures on there. Anyway, so today's video is going to be about casting. And yes, I successfully was able to cast. So please watch the rest of the video and enjoy. All right, I wasn't going to make a recording today. Sorry, I'm out of breath from running up and down the stairs. But I, I was able to figure something out and I wanted to show you guys. So as you can tell, I'm on my X22i incline trainer. The one that has reflex cushion technology, which we should talk about one day because this really helps someone my age. I'm in my 60s with my joints. My knees aren't what they used to be. Anyway, I just powered this up and uh, I wanted to show you something. All right, let me actually reboot this. Okay. So the good news is that I actually got the simulcast or the simulcast or the casting option to work. And I finally realized it's it's very flaky. It's this this was not built to cast to another screen. Or maybe it was, I don't know, but that feature no longer works as far as I know. But the great thing is that it uses the wireless network that you're connected to. So if your smart TV is, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> if your smart TV is connected to the same wireless network as your X22i or X33i or X11i or whatever T number or S22i, whatever you have. All right, give me a second. Okay, so let's go to iFit. Let's bring up iFit. And as soon as iFit is up, I just wanted to show you that I can cast this screen to an external source. If the external source or the TV, smart TV, whatever it is, if it's on the same network, then it'll work. You don't have to have a Bluetooth connection. You don't have to have a, an additional app. I actually played around because I have LG smart 4k tvs i actually installed a an lg uh, tv plus app and it worked on here but the tv is not close enough for it to to figure it out so i didn't need it and then once i figured that then it was all it was all pretty simple so what it is is you have to kind of keep tricking this s22i into knowing that it can cast to another device. Now, I'm just talking about my older X22i, which I believe I got it in 2018. And I think it's a 2016 model by the by the model number, which is an NT something, and then it ends in uh, 16. So if your model number ends in 19, it might not have the same features as this. As you can tell, mine has an HDMI out. Wait, that's not, that's a USB. And then there's an HDMI out. And then the other day, believe believe it or not, I've had this um, treadmill for over two years. And I just noticed, see if I can find it, right there. There's an actual jack. So I guess I can plug music into this. And I never knew that. Or it's a it's an out. So uh, later on in the video, I'll check to see if that's an in, an inny or an outy. Okay. But this is we're here today because of this. Ready? Swipe down, swipe down again, and again a third time. And if you look, it says cast screen. Let's click it. No devices available. Let's go to more settings. And if you notice, I've got two settings there. I've got a, a Bravia, which is the TV in my bedroom, which I've never gotten to work. And then I have the LG, which it says it's unavailable. So to kind of push this along because this cast screen doesn't really work very well. And I know for you guys that don't have, like the newer machines don't have this, but for the older machines, if you click those three buttons, you have to make sure it's enabled. But what you have to do is you have to kind of turn it off, 
you'll get no nearby devices were found. And then we'll turn it back on. And then this will pop up. So why the LG isn't showing, I'm not sure. Let's run upstairs. Bear with me. We have that little gate there for our Shih Tzu bandit so he doesn't climb up the stairs. Because uh, for some reason he thinks that carpet is grass. Ah, so the TV is up and running. Let me go ahead and put this in uh, the dashboard. So with LGs, if you put it in home dashboard, it seems to work better. All right, and there's a connection guide here. <clears throat> and this actually tells you if you wanted to connect it. And it talks about the LG TV Plus app. The thing is, you don't really need that. That's if you wanted to control your TV. You know, if you have your TV nearby, then you might want to have this on your treadmill because then you can actually control the TV using your using your uh, S your X22i. Now, I've never tried it, but the actual LG TV Plus app did install and like any typical apps that are made for the phone. Anyway, let me run back downstairs. It turns the screen sideways. Oh, I'm getting my steps in. Let's see how many steps I got. Somebody's shining a laser on me. So I've got four staircases. That's cool. And steps. 2,919. All right. I promise you I got this working and now I'm not sure what's going on. So for some reason it says it's unavailable now. And I guess I might have to turn it off and turn it back on. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs, turn the TV off and turn it back on. Oh, bear with me. I wish I had a closer wireless display. <laughs> but then again, this is good exercise. Okay. TV off. TV on. <clears throat> okay. Let's go back down. Wow, I wish I would have just left it when it was running. I kind of turned everything off because I wanted to show it to you from the beginning. But I do know that casting did work. And it's possible I might have to turn um, this. And for some reason it's saying it's unavailable. So let's do this, let's do this. Click there, over here actually. Click on that cog. And let's forget it. What does that guy say when he's um, cooking in some sort of rotisserie? Set it and forget it. Okay, so now we're going to disable and then enable. Again, I know you guys may not be able to do that. All right, I'm going to have to stop this video and then I will continue it at another date and time when I can get the LG working. It was working. Let's try the Bravia in my room. I've never gotten this to work. And so I've gone to the room and nothing ever happens. And at one point it did say, do you want to accept the Bravia? All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, we'll come by at a later date and time. Not sure why it's not showing the LG right now. Okay. I'm gonna try one last thing. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna run upstairs, get myself another flight of stairs. I'm up to five stairs right now. Okay. I'm actually going to turn the LG TV off. And when I say turn it off, I don't know if it's really off right now. I'm actually going to unplug the plug 
wait five seconds, and then plug it back in. So now, I'm out of shape. Turn the TV back on. Run back downstairs. Actually, there's several LG TVs up here. Let me turn on. I believe there's an LG TV in here. I should know, shouldn't I? No, that's a Sony. And it's like somebody put some junk on it. But I'm gonna turn this Sony on too. Cause I don't even know if it's a smart TV. But we can check. Something sticky on all of this. Somebody was eating something. There's... Ugh. I've got it all over me. Alright, so this is on. <clears throat> the one up here is on. I'm not going to wake up my son or my daughter. They have LG TVs. So there should be at least two LG TVs. Oh, shoot. Alright. So now, let's power up this sucker. This X22i, I can't believe I've made over 50 videos on it. I think I have a couple of videos on these weights as well that my wife uses. Why do I have three of them when you usually get a pair for two? The reason being is one of them broke and they actually sent me, instead of sending me the piece or whatever broke, they sent me a brand new set. Can you believe that? So we actually have... Three dumbbells. All right, one last time. <clears throat> if I can get this to work, then I'll post this video so at least you have some hope that you can cast. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that you have hope, meaning everyone. But it means that the older machines can still cast. As far as the newer machines, I'm not sure. That's going to require a little bit more research. So you go to settings, go to display, go to cast. There's the Bravia. No devices. Enable and darn it. Okay, we'll just have to try it another time. The LG TVs are being just a little bit, how do I say? I will show you one thing while we're here. So if you go, I already downloaded it from the APK Pure Store. If you go to downloads, and there's the LG TV Plus. <clears throat> so for some reason you do have an older system and let's say the TV's up there and it's an LG <clears throat> excuse me I need some water or something <clears throat> or finish my coffee let's say that it's an LG you can actually load this LG TV plus and it will control your TV for you from here so it's just a backup because I'm sure you'll have a remote somewhere over here but it's a backup see it installs, you hit done, swipe up, and there it is, LG TV Plus. Let's see what it looks like. Now this thinks it's a phone, so it's gonna swipe everything to the side. You see that? Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it just like this. It asks you to load another thin Q app, which, um, who knows? Let's see what happens if I say download LG thin Q app. It's probably gonna go to the Google Play Store, so this is something that, and this controls like if you had an LG washer. And I don't think that works. So you would have to um, go on APK Pure or APK Mirror. So let's just say don't show this for the next 14 days. But I guess you could control your um, your washer and dryer. Gives you a big user agreement. You know what? Why am I like most people and not just hit accept? Ah, look, it's searching for a TV. You found one. Please check whether the LG is turned on and connect your smartphone. Enter the pin shown on the TV. Whoa! So this is pretty cool. And so if I have to load an LG TV Plus app in order to connect to my LG TV, if it'll help, then I'll do it. All right. 
Can you guys remember that? 5288 All right. So look at that. I actually have a remote control. <laughs> now it's sideways. I wonder if there's a way that we can. But look at this. I have remote control of my TV, mobile content, LG TV. So watch this stuff. If I swipe up here, if I hit that. Uh, oops, I must, I accidentally, I accidentally hit the. So there's a magic link, a TV app, a channel list. I don't see any screen mirroring or anything and I know I'm having it sideways I want to keep it sideways so you see what I'm seeing what's magic link it's not available in the current state okay TV app list oh that's cool I can actually uh, show all the apps that are running on my TV that is pretty cool so I have a smart TV so you could start Netflix Prime Video Hulu whatever that is pretty cool even Disney Plus Swipe up and go back. All right, let's go to the TV menu again. TV settings, TV inputs, channel list. That is pretty cool if you wanna mess with your kids. But that's not what I want. It says TV off, I don't want that either. So I thought that there was a mirroring capability from here. Mobile content. Oh, so this is showing everything that's on here. And I guess I could take this and the display upstairs will show all these pictures. I mean, as you can see, it's got all the pictures that are currently on this machine. Wow, that is pretty cool. You can use this, so you, I guess you can use, if you have an LG, you can do that, but that's not what I want. Is there a video on here as well? Oh yeah, there's a couple of screen captures that I was working on. Working on. What other options do I have? LG TV Plus, mobile contact, remote control. Plus app settings, yes, this is nothing. Okay, so um, back to the remote control. So from here, when I loaded this on my phone, I actually got a, an option here for TV mirroring, but that's not the case here. TV inputs, TV settings, so I could do all this, but so the thing is I have this up now and it's connected upstairs. I don't know how, I, I guess wirelessly. So let's do this, let's get out of this. Oh, I forgot I have to swipe from here. Let's hit that so I don't kill it. And let's not go to downloads or settings. Let's go to cast screen. So cast screen did not show anything. It's showing no devices. So let me turn this off and then turn it back on. And come on, come on LG. Come on, you're already connected. Yeah. Okay, well, it was a try. Anyway, uh, when I, I will eventually get this working. So uh, the good news is that for you folks with older machines, um, number one, if you had the HDMI, you know for a fact you can cast. But even if you don't, <clears throat> somehow if you are able to hit, get to this casting screen somehow, and again, I, I don't believe the newer machines are, have that capability, then you should be able to see uh, your TVs see what happens so one last thing I'm going to do I'm going to close everything even the eye fit I'm gonna close it I'm gonna come back here and I'm going to uninstall so this is how you uninstall you hold it and then you see up you get two options I'm going to uninstall it because I really don't need to control my LG TV plus from my TV from here it goes up there maybe and then it's sideways so the following apps are removed you can delete associated folders Yes, I want to delete that folder as well because I don't need that. Okay, so uh, one last time. Settings, display, cast. Oh. Oops, sorry.
It's enabled. Okay, it was showing. All right, I'll have to come back some other time. Well, this was a failed attempt, but uh, I might still post this just so you could see that it's not always a happy ending. Not always a happy ending. And it does sh show the Bravia. So if that Bravia was a, a newer TV, it might work. Unfortunately, all my LG TVs are upstairs. So. Okay. It was showing right there, LG. It was amazing. Right in there. One last time. I won't bore you by running up and down. I'm just going to hit pause. So this may be why it's not working. If you read down, not the first, second, third, or fourth bullet, but read the fifth bullet. It says, to watch the 1080p video through content share function, a router that uses 5 gigahertz frequency is required. If a 2.4 gigahertz router is used, the video may not play properly. So if this TV is connected to my 5 gig, which I have both, I have a 5 gig router, which is backward compatible with 2.4 gig, obviously, because there's a lot of old devices in the house. If you didn't have that backward compatibility, then I can tell you right now, the, uh, the X22i wouldn't work. So my X22i is using a 2.4 gigahertz uh, network. This is probably using a 5 gigahertz network. So I guess depending on which one it connects to, it's very possible uh, that it'll only cast if it's using a 2.4 gigahertz uh, network. And mine has the same SSID name, meaning that um, it's going to connect to whichever one it connects to, hopefully the strongest one. Anyway, so now that you know that, we'll come back downstairs and give it one last college try. I'm looking and this video has gone, I think I'm over 15 minutes now. I needed a break anyway from work. Holy moly, holy moly, and there it is. I know it, I know it. It's amazing how certain things are, make me happy. All right, so it should know this connection. <clears throat> now I'm wondering, how I'm, oh, it's connected, holy shoot. Listen, I'm sorry, it took me this long, but it is connected, yes. So I could swipe back. I can swipe down now and I want you to see what it looks like. Look at that, LG WebOS TV. Is that great? Is that great? All right, so if I wanna start iFit, let's make believe the TV's up right there. <clears throat> oh, thank you for bearing with me. I, I knew, I, that's the problem sometimes when you have obsessive compulsive disorder. You just don't wanna give it up. You just, keep trying, you keep trying, you keep persevering. And you know, that's that's uh, my job as a computer uh, uh, system engineer, uh, the subject matter expert for certain software apps, applications at, at my job. I have to continuously go through some, uh, go through a lot of meticulous um, tasks, checking things over and over and over again, because if if, it, if not, then it I might be missing something. So you followed this along with me. So you tell me if I missed anything. So I'm going to just move this. Actually, I'm not going to move. Yes, I'm going to move it ever so slightly to the left like that. Let's run upstairs. And what do you think? What's your money on? Is your money on that it's showing upstairs? I don't think he cares. <sighs> Holy moly. And look at that beautiful 4K picture. Now, if you'll notice, so the you still see some pixels there, but I'm very close. So just so you know, this is a 4K display. I guarantee you the X22i downstairs is not. So let's go ahead and start a video. And if you've seen my other video on casting, you know for a fact that... Oh, I'm a little out of breath. You know for a fact that it's a little jumpy because it's got to cast all the way upstairs. So if you had the TV right there, which obviously you're not going to cast. So let's go ahead and try. Let's give uh, John Peel 
Uh, I try. He's one of my favorite um, trainers here. There's a lot of good trainers here. All right, let's start the workout. It'd be nice if uh, you can control it from the TV as well. No, actually, that wouldn't be nice. You'd have a lot of people playing tricks on you. Again, for those of you that are still watching this video, thank you. All right, I might as well start. Have my warm up and my warm up. Now, you're not going to hear John talking because remember, it's being cast upstairs. There's my leaderboard. That's something pretty cool. You can swipe it away, I think. And you can swipe it back. That's my wife. She's getting. So if I raise the volume, you'll notice it's raised all the way. But you only see it here, meaning that it's up there. So my question is, if you're casting it, how do you deal with the fact that it's casting up there and it's here as well? I'm wondering if there's, and that's for another date and time. So let me go ahead and, uh, I don't want to pause it. Let me actually, let me put it at one mile per hour and zero incline. And let's run upstairs and see if what John's doing. So, as you can tell, it's a little jumpy, and I've showed you this before, and it's jumpy because it's trying to cast this from downstairs all the way to up here, but I just wanted to show you that you can get it done. Uh, last time I did this, the picture was a little bit better, so I, uh, I implore to you all that have older systems, go ahead and try your casting. Be persistent because as you can see, you saw how long it took me to get this to work. Uh, the Nordic Track did not make these machines with casting in mind. And then again, if you have an older machine, you have a cable that's an HDMI out. Uh, as far as the newer machines, I'm going to keep uh, in contact with you all. Uh, please comment below, like this video, and uh, subscribe so you could see me uh, persevering through what seemed impossible, but I got it to cast. I knew that I could. Unfortunately, this TV is, is too far away. I might actually bring a TV uh, downstairs just so we can see what it looks like because it would be nice if we could see what a TV would look like if it was right by the, uh, the X22i. Okay, so I'm going to stop this right now. Let's see. Uh, Remember, there's three different waterfalls at Niagara. Yep, the Horseshoe Canadian Falls, which is the only one, the biggest one. That's on the inside. But then you also have the American Falls and then the Smoke. Got it. And then as soon as I did that, can you hear John Peel downstairs? Seven flights of stairs. A beautiful sight to see. All right, Amazing guys. Hey, John. To end this workout. And just give us something to look forward to as we make our way. Hello, hello. So, John, you probably don't know. I'm going to lower you, John. Okay. So now that we're getting comfortable. You probably don't know, John, that I had you upstairs and you were kind of a little bit pixelated. Now, I don't know what it is, but this looks a little pixelated, doesn't it, to you? This is not a quality picture. So I'm going to hit stop. And maybe because it was casting, I don't know. But I'm going to hit stop. I'm going to stop it. Because that, that worries me. And a, lot, a few people had commented saying that they were disappointed with the quality of the videos. Again, supposedly these videos are... Oops, sorry. These videos are supposedly recorded in 4K. So now I need to just wipe this out from my wife's let me, uh, history because she didn't actually do this exercise. And my battery is about to die. So if, if I should abruptly get stopped, you'll know why. So we'll hit that. 
This is how you delete um, stuff from your history should you need it. And there's a delete button right there. Let's delete that. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Deleting. All right, let's go back to home and let's hope that I get this in before the battery dies. Come on, John. I'm gonna give you another shot. You better come in nice quality, HD. All right, started to walk and the warm up. All right, look a little bit better. Now it always comes in a little bit um, uh, kind of standard quality back, initially. I fit trainer John Peel here. Uh, we are starting right where we end our last workout. A little That's bit better. Beautiful done this lookout, as you can tell. It is fall. We a little bit better. Canada. Uh, hopefully, um, right where we end Nordic our track will be working on the quality of this moving forward. Falls. So stay with me. Exactly so it's not bad. <clears throat> the same amount of That's obviously great workout. quality because it's and coming straight one, from the machine. All the way to one of the most beautiful I believe. Or maybe it's getting Bruce some, uh, so guys, oh, it has to be like coming from the machine, but it's probably getting energy, some information from the database, bring the passion, wherever it's downloading we're from. Gonna talk more about form, All right, then. Technique, we'll I'll talk way. later. Today's workout, just John, a steady state. thanks for your uh, devotion before. to this exercising, Remember, and we'll see you guys later. Legs, building a little bit on strength. I'm looking for the quality. There is oh, in workout. Well, it's set to high. I don't ever set it to auto. I always set it to high. Okay. Sometimes it looks better than other other days. All right, you all have a good one. Take care, John. And you all, thanks again for bearing with me. And that was, uh, in summary, us casting to an external TV. Uh, it didn't look great, but I've seen it where it's it's looked much better. And one of these days, I'm going to have an LG TV down here, and we'll try it again, see what it looks like. All right. Click like, subscribe, and comment, please. We'll see you next time.